Welcome everybody to another Goodwill hunting adventure. I'm Tight White. I got all the game. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody. As you can see, it's snowing in my car because my sunroof is jammed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are at a new video game store, guys, that my man Hob told me about. My brother, aka Shoeless Joe G's. We'll get into that in a little bit. In this video, we're going to be traveling into Christmas past, Christmas present, and Christmas future. I don't know if I have enough money or money in the budget for a ghost but we will visit all the time periods that I have just mentioned to you guys happy holidays now during this video as we go into the past I pick up a banger of a video game pickup you're not gonna want to miss it but first let's go into this new video game store here and see if we can find some Christmas presents. And it feels good to be a gangster.
All right, guys, I found three titles in there. I'm going to show them to you right now. And then after that, we're going to go visit the ghost of Christmas past. All right, first title here, MotoGP3. I must have all the MotoGPs. It seems like I'm picking these up every week now. I don't know how many they have on the PlayStation 2, but I like how that they have the, uh, the words going across like that. There is a RPG like that. Can't remember the name right now, but uh, that does that. I would know if I've seen that title out in the wild before. I know I haven't because of the way it looks. Uh, very nice cover art there. $1.95, they're giving that away. I don't know why, because it is complete. The disc does have some scratching on it, and maybe they're strict at this new store about disc scratching. I, I don't know, but cool to add that to the collection for under two bucks. Next pickup. I don't know if you remember on my tight package video, I think it was my most recent one, picked up a big PS2 lot and Flipnik factory sealed. Again, they're giving this away 95 cents. I, this game, I heard this game is a good game. I'm not going to open the factory sealed one. I'm going to flip it. Now I have a copy to play. It does not have the manual. That's probably why they were giving it away for a dollar. But uh, happy to add that to the collection. And then the best pickup in there with the lame cover art. Don't shoot me with that laser gun. Ow, that laser hurts. Is Cyborg Hunter on the Sega Master System. They actually messed up on the price. You see it's $9.95. They only charged me $6.60 for some reason. It is complete in case. Another really cool addition to my Sega Master System collection. It's supposed to be a classic uh, Master System game, guys. So, yeah, super happy about that. All right, now it is time to visit the Ghost of Christmas Past. Man, it's getting cold in here. The snow is starting to get crazy up in here. All right, and we're going to go visit my man, Hav G's. Hav, who stole the soul? G's. And we'll segue right into my banger of a video game pickup right after that. Now, how am I going to summon the Ghost of Christmas Past? Hmm. I know. Taxi! I cut through the park and take me over to... Whoa! Hey! Oh! Oh! Wrong way, jerk! Nice hit back there, solid hit! Down! Go the wrong way! Relax, Frank! Enjoy the ride! How do you know my name? I know absolutely everything, Frank. You see, I'm the ghost. <laughs> yo man we we had, this one's next yo we had this yo. <laughs> yo, we had the Steeler game man we, we had the we had the Texas Steeler game how huh, shooters came apart <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Damn. They just threw both of them down. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? What kind of cushion you got under there, man? Yo, look, look. Oh, shit. I got track stars. <laughs> Yo, this you got some galoshes on. <laughs> Yo, what's the camera Damn, that's <laughs> fucked up. He, 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 was just wa he was just walking and all of a sudden you saw him with nothing on. <laughs> he turned, turned around and shoes over there. <laughs> Y'all got dress shoes on. <laughs> Wearing some damn rubber penny loafers. Man, your feet gonna hurt like a motherfucker. Yo, this is bullshit. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, guys, the snow is really coming down right now. We're gonna go ahead and brave the storm and see if we can find some video games at this Goodwill. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. 
Oh, y'all don't have a disc in there? Mario!
And then any in a different section in the store that some of the more adult. Right. Yeah. I don't know what that line All right, guys, what is up? It's your boy, Tight White, bringing you the recap portion of the video. Once again, I want to say happy holidays, and I hope everybody got off to a good new year. It's 2018 now. I'm very excited. Now, before we get into the Goodwill pickups that you've seen throughout the video, uh, I don't know if I have everything on there, but most of the stuff you did see during the video Let's go ahead and get into this, which was supposed to be a tight package video. This is uh, three different eBay purchases. I uh, had a live stream last night, a five and a half hour live stream, believe it or not. And I unboxed, unpackaged everything and showed everybody in the live stream. So, you, so some of you that missed that are going to see it right now. We're going to run through it real quick. This is a manual lot for the NES and... Paid $15 and some change for this lot. So let's go through it real quick. Roadrunner. Jackal. Rescue, the embassy mission. Gunsmoke. Uncanny X-Men. Tiger Heli. Blades of Steel. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. Defender of the Crown, Double Dragon, Akai Warriors 2, Victory Road, Double Dragon 2, Chris Everett and Ivan Lindell Tennis, Top Players Tennis. Then we have Dragon Warrior, not a big RPG fan, but this is one of my favorite RPGs of all time, let's just put it that way. Ninja Gaiden. Flying Dragon, Airwolf, Jordan vs. Bird, one-on-one, -on -one. Street Cop, Skate or Die, Kings of the Beach, Highlight, then we have Adventure Island, and one of my favorite baseball games of all time, Bases loaded. So $15 for that lot right there. That's going to complete a few of my games. And uh, if I see some stuff out in the wild that I pick up, I'll be able to complete it hopefully if I pick up the right stuff. Now let's go to the uh, complete in box. This is a separate lot that I paid $74 for, but I think it was $20 shipping. So we're looking at $94 shipped to my front door. The only one that does not have a manual and it does have a poster or some inserts is Goonies 2. First game right here is Dragon Spirit. Complete in box. Yo Noi. We are talking about this on the stream last night. This originated from Domino's. Classic right here. Data East. We have Burger Time. Next up, Fester's Quest. Sunsoft title. Tetris. I think I have a copy of this, so that's going to be flipped. Jackal. And the best game of the lot is definitely, although the box is not in the best condition, Contra. 
Now, I think this came with, uh, or I'm certain it came with two manuals. I haven't opened it up yet, but yeah, it's in there. So for whatever reason, they had two manuals for this. I already have this loose cart. This game goes for, I'm thinking about flipping it so that I can just recoup. I have, so I'll put the manual with my cart and I'll see if I can get a better deal down the road because this sells for 50, 60 bucks easily and now I'll recoup most of the cost of the, the lot. And then the last title is Goonies 2. All right guys, we're gonna clean, oh, you know what? I have one more thing to show you guys. The last eBay slay, I think I paid 12, 13 bucks for this. I can't even remember. I'll, uh, I'll put the eBay slay at the end of the video, but we have Skitchin, which is skating and hitching a ride mixed together, uh, classic Sega Genesis game by the creators of Road Rash. So, uh, yeah, man, happy about getting this on a good, for a good price. Not, it's not an expensive game. You can pick this up for $20 all day complete in this type of condition on eBay. I paid, I think, 13 bucks or something like that. But, uh, yeah, so we'll clean this up, guys, and then we'll go into the Goodwill pickups for the last few weeks and another store, and I think one pickup was from Half Price Books. Please hold. All right, guys, so the only non-video game related item that I'm going to show you is this right here. I don't know if you guys remember. I picked this up probably a couple of months ago, but it's missing one of the discs. I think I paid $0.99 cents or $1.99. $0.99 cents on this. Both discs are in there. I will pay $0.99 cents for this All Eyes on Me. Every If I have 20 of these laying around my house, I'll keep paying $0.99 cents for it. One of the best uh, double CDs to ever come out. Uh, crazy, insanely good uh, Tupac CD, so our double CD, 99 cents on that. All right, now, my boy Brad from Cla uh, Chasing the Classics sent me a package. Very nice of him. I really appreciate it. Brad's a great guy. I don't know if Eric had anything to do with it, but whatever. Chasing the Classics, check out their channel. I've shouted them out many times before. They sent me, or Brad sent me, Jurassic Park Interactive for the 3DO. I mean, look at that. That's, that's really cool, man. So I get to add to my 3DO collection. It does not, oh, actually, no, it does have the manual. I was about to say it doesn't have the manual. It's one of those ones that has the half. The game is on top, and then it has the manual on bottom. I don't know if it came with anything else, but, uh, yeah, man, really nice condition. Uh, it's probably not the greatest game in the world, but... Definitely uh, a cool collection piece for my uh, 3DO uh, collection. So very happy about that. Thanks, Brad. And then as a joke, he sends me Sitting Ducks. Kind of an inside joke, but um, I'll keep it. Maybe I'll put it somewhere in my game room right next to Rule of Rose and Factory Seal Dot Hat Quarantine for you, Brad. All right. All right, so that's that. Um... I think it was yesterday that I picked this up from a Goodwill, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I did have to pay $4.99, I wasn't happy about that, but loose disc Wind Waker goes from, I would say, $18 to $20. I already have it complete, so I'm going to be flipping that. And then the next title here is from a new video game store, which I'm not going to tell the local people that watch my channel because they already know about all my spots. So, except for my honey hole and except for this spot, except for Hob, Hob knows about it. I picked up Cyborg Hunter on the Sega Master System. Very happy about getting this. I only paid, oh, you know what? I took the sticker. Oh, there it is. $9.95, but they undercharged me for some reason and charged me $6.60. It is complete, very cool uh, addition to my Sega Master System collection. And yeah, I'm excited to have that for sure. Next title on the PlayStation 2. I don't think I have this one, and it looks like a lot of fun. ski do Snow X Racing.
All right, so yeah, man, I have not had a chance to play this game, but the footage that I've seen, it looks like a really good racer. So excited about getting a chance to play that one. Uh, next title here, I don't really think this is a good game. Only reason I picked it up is $1.99, Dark Summit. Another snow game. Oh, you know what? I forgot. So even though the saran wrap or the, um, the, the plastic was taken off of it, it's still brand new. That's the reason why I was sold on it. Two bucks in perfect condition, Dark Summit. And there's a chance that I don't have it on the PS2. If, if I do have it, I'll just get rid of it. All right, next title here. I played probably an hour into this actually today just to check it out. Yes, terrible voice acting. Trying to aim a gun is like pulling your eyelids out of your fucking head. Um, but the fight mechanics are pretty good. It seems like just cheesy enough to be a decent title. Um, I don't think I've seen the movie. It looks like a movie based game. Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. And I don't know why I said that like I'm on the short bus, but, uh, yeah, Mummy. Let's check out some game footage right now of this game. Sorry, Paul. So yeah, it looks decent. Next up to bat is a game that I do not have for my... Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys. So, uh, Mummy, I actually got that for... I can't remember what it was. I think it was 50% off, so I did not pay $4.99 for that. Paid 2 bucks for it, or two fifty dollars for it. And then the other titles, all these orange sticker ones, I can't remember because it's been so long. It was either 75% off or 50% off. So I paid $2.50 or $2 for pretty much all the next uh, four titles that I'm going to show you. So don't have this in my PS2 collection, so I wanted to add it. Prism Chapter 1, The Dark Uniform, or The Dark Unicorn. Complete. Very nice condition. I have no clue if that's good or not. Next up is Fury Kart Championship Racing. Again, paid two bucks or two fifty for this. Complete. I love my racers. And then we have a very interesting pinball game. If you guys remember in my PS2 uh, tight package video recently, I picked up a factory sealed copy of this. So now I get to play and I'll flip the factory sealed copy. Let's check out some game footage of Flip Nick Ultimate Pinball on the PlayStation 2.
hit the big tree within the time limit to start multi-ball play or leave the area. Hurry, hurry! So yeah, it looks like a really uh, fun pinball game there, guys. Next title here, uh, two bucks or two fifty on this as well with the orange sticker, Rally Fusion. Complete. It's got some kind of. Uh, I don't know if they printed. They probably printed that up. Maybe that's some cheats or something like that. But it is complete. Looks like a good game. And then we have uh, my boy at Half Price Books hooked it up. Usually I wouldn't pick this up for seven ninety nine, but. Again, Homeboy hooks me up a lot of half price books, so when he takes the time to price something for me right on the spot at the trade-in center, which a lot of people don't do that, I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, I don't want that. So this game's worth 20, 22, 23 bucks, 7.99. I already have it in my collection. Tim Tebow cover, NCAA Football 11. I'll go ahead and flip that real quick for... Uh, around 20 bucks make some money on that one so really cool next title here uh very cool picking this up at a goodwill i did have to pay six dollars and 99 cents but i have no problem with that an absolute classic samurai showdown So yeah, super dope game right there. Next title, this thing is in mint condition, complete. The disc looks flawless, guys. Mario Kart on the Wii, picked that up for $4.99. Easy sell between 20 and 25 bucks right there for me. And then the next two titles are, I've been picking up these GP games. Um, I've actually played these today. So the first title here is MotoGP Part 2. Um, Really cool mo uh, racing motorcycle games. This is complete right here. And I can't remember if I got a sale on that or not. No, I didn't get a sale. It's $1.99, so it was already a great price. Now, I played this. Um, it's good, but it's kind of like... Well, I'm kind of being hypocritical when I say this. It's kind of like Gran Turismo A-Spec, where you're flying around corners and... Uh, you know, it's very it's 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 very non arcade where you really have to slow down on corners and stuff like that. Um, even when you try the arcade edition, um, there is a big improvement over the next one that I'm going to show you. Uh, Moto GP3. Now, Moto G GP3, the corners are a lot more forgiving on this game. I would say I've not played Moto GP1. And I don't know if it's in my collection. I have to uh, get my stuff out of storage to see. But if you're going to start with a game, go ahead and skip two and go to three. Again, the corners are a lot better on it. Uh, it's a little gimmicky, the corners, where it kind of slows down a lot. Like there's some really real slowdown on the corners. But I think they did, did that on purpose. Uh, but still, a very cool racing game. And uh, definitely worth your time. Now, I picked this up for $1.95. Got a great price on that. All right, so next up, guys. 
Not that it needs an introduction, but here is one. Ready? Yeah. All right, guys, so the slam dunk of the week is Halo 3, the first print edition in immaculate condition. There are two on eBay right now selling for, I think one's 130, the other one's around 150 bucks. Pick this up for, I think I paid, um, it's either 5.99 or 6.99 for it. Now, the two on eBay, both of them have defects. One of them's ripped open right here on the uh, side seal. And then the other one has a round, uh, I don't know, probably like a cup was sitting on it. And it wore down the, uh, the actual, um, the, 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 the case plastic. Now I already have a protective case on this already. This was a one hell of a pickup, guys. Something I've been looking for. For quite some time you can see the orange sticker on there that I don't know if you can read it with the uh, slip cover on there 92507 whenever you have that orange sticker on there that means you got the first print edition of Halo 3 so that's my sick pick of the week that's my slam dunk of the week guys thank you for watching the video I'm your host my name is tight white I got all the game and I'll see you guys at the Goodwill. Peace out.